In today's video, I'm gonna be running through a really quick, easy and efficient body weight jungle gym workout. Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny. If you guys have no idea what a jungle gym is, I honestly don't even know it's called a jungle gym. It's like one of these like outdoor park workout gym thingies. The main advantages of working out in a jungle gym over a regular gym is that first of all, it's free. Second of all, it's outdoors, so you get to enjoy nature. And third of all, it's usually really empty compared to your regular gym where it's like really packed and you're like scrambling to see when you can use a machine or use a certain weight. When it comes to jungle gyms like this one, a lot of people really don't have a plan. They just like go to the gym, do a couple of like pull-ups, push-ups, and they call it a day. But in today's video, I wanna give you guys like a really easy workout. This is gonna be a full body workout that's gonna target everything, including your arms, your abs, and your legs. Super easy, super quick, but most importantly, it's gonna get you super big. The way that this workout is structured is that it consists of four different circuits that consist of three different exercises. One exercise will target your upper body, the next exercise will target your lower body, and then the last exercise will target your abs. Before I show you guys the workout, today's video is sponsored by the Water Run Shoes. I've been wearing the Water Run Shoes for all my outdoor workouts, my beach runs, my outdoor activities, and honestly, they're really comfortable and they're just really good shoes to have when you want to work out outdoors. Unfortunately, I had to move away from the jungle gym because there was this dog that would just keep barking and it kept interrupting my filming. But anyways, guys, here's the workout. For the first round, we're gonna be doing push-ups, squat jumps, and a plank. Depending on your level of fitness, you can go through this circuit three to five times, and obviously, you can modify the exercises to make them easier or harder. I consider myself high, intermediate, to advanced, so for the push-ups, I'm gonna be doing 20. For the squat jumps, I'm gonna be doing 20, and then for the plank, I'm gonna hold it for 45 seconds. For the push-ups, I'm just gonna be doing a normal stance, shoulder to elbow, or even, making sure I really hit that chest and the rest of my upper body. For for the squat jumps, you wanna make sure that you're jumping and landing right. If not, you're really gonna fuck up your knees. If you've never done these before, I suggest that you just do like regular squats without any jumping at first. And for the plank, we have all done a plank. Even if it was 10 years ago in PE class, you're just gonna put your elbows down, make sure your stomach and back are flat and just hold the plank position. The next circuit is gonna consist of pull-ups, split squats, and leg raises. Same thing, you're gonna go through this round three to five times depending on your level of difficulty. For the pull-up, I'm gonna be doing a wide pronated grip, which is just your standard pull-up. If you wanna make it easier, you can supinate your hands like this and you'll get more of the bicep. And if you're just like a pro, like go ahead, do a muscle up. I'll probably do eight to 10 pull-ups, but for the pull-ups, it's really important to focus on your form. Don't do like any kipping, no swinging, nothing. You wanna make sure you have the perfect technique. For the split squat, you want to make sure that the leg behind you is on a slightly elevated surface. I'm going to be doing about 15 reps on each leg. Same thing with the pull-up. You want to make sure it's a really controlled movement. No jumping, no slipping, no falling. Just do your regular split squat. The leg raise is a more advanced ab exercise. So if you've never done it before, I suggest that you do like two legs or maybe just stand on the pull-up bar for a while. But if you can't do it like with proper form, you kind of have to like regress and maybe even lay down and just do like leg raises like on the floor. The next round is gonna consist of dips, jumping lunges, and an alternating plank crunch. If you can't do a dip on parallel bars or you just find it too hard, you can always do a dip on a regular bench, which is just a really good way to start out and strengthen your triceps. For the dips, I'll do something in the eight to 12 rep. I wanna make sure that it's a really controlled, nice movement that I'm just using my arms, no kipping, no swinging, none of that. For the jumping lunge, same rule applies. You wanna make sure that you're jumping and landing properly. You're not falling, leaning too far 
forward, leaning to back. If you've never done a jumping lunge before, I suggest that you start off with a regular backwards lunge, really slow, really control, focus on your legs, focus on just like your lower body in general, and then little by little progress to the jumping lunge. Now for the alternating plank crunch, this is just a name that I made up for this exercise, but you're literally gonna get in a plank position. You're gonna put one arm out and then you're gonna tuck your arm in as you tuck your opposite knee in as well. Not only does this really strengthen your abs, but it also builds really good core stability and it also builds really good upper body balance. Now for the last round of exercises, you're gonna be doing bicep bar curls, leg jumps, and bicycle crunches. For the bicep curl, you're gonna find any regular bar. You're kind of gonna like hold it in this position like that, like kind of lay down on it, and then you're just gonna do a bicep curl by pulling yourself up. If you find it too difficult, you can always put your legs closer or even bend your legs. Honestly, this exercise is not too hard. I'll be doing about 15 reps, but a good way to make it harder is to do it a lot slower and to hold the contraction. The lower body exercise are the leg jumps. By the way, I just made that name up because obviously when you jump, you use your legs so i don't really know why i called it leg jumps like obviously when you're jumping you know legs yeah you get the point this exercise really focuses on your calves find a slightly elevated surface and just jump on it you can jump with two legs if you're starting out you can jump with one leg if you don't have an elevated surface you can just go from side to side back and forth you can even jump in place even if you have a jump rope use it just any form of jumping do this for about 30 seconds for each leg or if you're starting out both legs and trust me you will feel the burn now now the last exercise, not only of this round, but of this entire workout is the bicycle crunch. At this point, my abs and body are completely destroyed. So I'm gonna be doing a bicycle crunch for about 30 to 45 seconds. You really wanna make sure that you stay stable and when you twist, it's really controlled that you're not like jumping all over the place. You're not like swaying your body all over. If you're a beginner, you don't have to keep your legs up like I do. You can just put them down on the ground every time you do the crunch. Right, guys but that was it for this jungle gym full body weight workout you can do three to five rounds of each circuit depending on your level of intensity you can change the number of reps you can even make it timed this routine is really flexible and it really is all up to you a huge thank you again for the water run shoes for sponsoring this video i'm gonna be leaving their link down below in my description so make sure you check them out but guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to stay up to date on my weekly uploads that is it for me but always always remember to stay hydrated i actually didn't bring any water while i was working out wow what a fail i could have dehydrated and fainted